Right, this time I've got a variable on both sides. So in order to work with this, I need to get the variables on one side, and I'm going to achieve that by subtracting 6w from both sides. That's going to give me w is less than or equal to negative 8. Graphing it on a number line. I'm going to go ahead and start negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9. Just show part of the number line here that we're working with. And I always double check, and here it's equal to, less than or equal to. That tells me to use a solid dot, and that my solution set is going to include this. Okay. So I wrote this as an inequality as well as, as a graph. And I also could use the more formal set notation. So w such that w is less than or equal to negative 8. So here's the elements that I'm talking about, and here's the restrictions on those elements. Okay, today we discussed using addition and subtraction principles to solve inequalities. And then we also talked about three ways to write the solution sets for inequalities. Next time, we'll be talking about more techniques for working with inequalities. See you again at educator.com.